सो है गैस टूडे फॉर सॉल्विंग ए इजी लेबल लेट कोड क्वेश्चन द नेम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज मर्ज स्ट्रिंग्स ऑल्टरनेटली सो लेट्स सी व्हाट द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग अस टू डू सो यू आर गिवन टू स्ट्रिंग्स वर्ड 1 एंड वर्ड 2 मर्ज द स्ट्रिंग्स बाय एडिंग लेटर्स इन ऑल्टरनेटिंग ऑर्डर स्टार्टिंग विद वर्ड 1 इफ अ स्ट्रिंग इज लॉन्गर देन द अदर हैपन द एडिशनल लेटर्स ऑन टू द एंड ऑफ द मर्ज स्ट्रिंग्स एंड वी हैव टू रिटर्न द मर्ज स्ट्रिंग्स सो बेसिकली वी आर गिवन वर्ड 1 एंड वर्ड 2 ओके सो यू हैव टू मर्ज देम बाय सम वे द वे इज रिटन इन द क्वेश्चन and once you merge them you need to return the merge strings and how do you need to merge them uh, you need to uh, select the characters out of both the strings uh, in a alternating order starting with word 1 and while you are doing so you'll be adding those uh, characters to a new string okay and this new string that is the answer string you have to return them so let's see the example to see how it's working okay so we have word 1 as abc and what to as pqr so if you are supposed to merge them so see uh, abc you have written it like this in word 1 as as it's uh, written in the example and for what it is pqr so you'll be first selecting the first character from word 1 that is a then first character from word 2 that is p then second character from word 1 that is b then second character from word 2 that is q and so on and so forth so you will finally be getting a p b q c r how it's the a then p then b then q then c then r let's see the second example in second example word 1 is ab and word 2 is pqrs so you can see that word 1 is smaller than word 2 so what will be happening is that once you write them and you are uh, selecting the characters alternatively so you got a p b and q then you can see the word 1 is completed okay we don't have any more uh, characters left in word 1 so whatever is left in word 2 that is rs you have you need to simply add them uh, like merge them into the answer string Uh, without any worry uh, it's it, it will be in the same order so it will be a p b q merging is done uh, whatever is left over you can just simply add that is r s in word 3 it's the alternate example it's like a b c d and p q where a b c d is a longer string uh, when you merge them you write it like this a p b q then then our word 2 is over uh, so what is left c d is left from word 1 you need to add them uh, now let me take you to whiteboard to show you an example drawing the uh dry code and then we can come and understand the code how it's working so let's go to white code okay so here's the white code uh let's see the first example it is a p a b c p q r uh so whenever you are asked to solve this kind of question this is a fairly easy level question it's mostly on uh, uh, checking your loop uh, loop conditions like how you're using the loops and how you're iterating through the strings okay uh so let's see how to do this uh see the first thing that comes to my mind is that you need to select the first character of both the words okay in order uh, assume uh, for selecting the first character i'm having a variable that is i okay i'm initializing it with 0 Uh, so here zero is basically representing the starting index of the word. Okay, so if i is equal to zero, uh, what I can do is that I can select the zeroth uh, character, that is indirectly the first character of both the strings, that is a and p, and then add them uh, to my answer array. I mean answer string. Uh, so let's see uh, final answer string. Okay, let it be an initial uh, empty string. Okay, we are adding a and p to this, so it became a p. So once it's done, you need to update i. Okay, uh, so if you are updating it, it will become one. so now our pointer will point to the next character okay so this p and a are gone okay so now you have b and q you will add b and q in order it's done i will be updated to 2 then our pointer is pointing to the next character that is the second character uh based on zero based indexing and if you add those characters we are getting a p b q c r so this was a normal example we understood okay so it's done Uh, now let's see the second example in which lengths are different so how do you tackle this kind of question okay so in this kind of question is that you can see its length is 2 its length is 4 okay so i'm uh, initializing my i with 0 okay so in this question uh, like in this in this example what we'll, what we'll be doing is that okay so it's pointing to a it's pointing to b okay no problem i'll add a and p it's done then i add uh, then i'll update i i will become 1 uh, it's pointing to b it's pointing to q i am adding b and q so now you can see that the next moment i update i i is becoming 2 okay i am pointing to null character that is my first word is complete so whenever this condition is is coming what i'll do is that i am stopping my logic for that i like i'm get exiting out of the loop okay now assume i have exited out of the loop and my i is pointing to 2 what i can do now i know that word 1 is empty how do i know that because the pointer is 2 and it is equal, equal, equal to the length of 2 that is the length of word 1 so i know that word 1 is over so i will not i will not do anything what is left uh, what 2 is left so i can simply keep on updating the value of i till it reaches the length of word 2 
and I'll be just adding the character. So now it's pointing to R. I'm adding R. Uh, then it will be updated to three. Uh, then I'll be adding S. Then once it's uh, finally updated to four, I'll be reaching the end of the string. So it's done. So this is the final answer that will be returning. In this case, also the same thing will be happening. First, we'll be adding A. Then we'll be adding P. In the first iteration, in the second iteration, we'll be adding B and Q. Then we will be left with C and D. Okay, and we'll be exiting out of the loop because we have reached the end of the word two. And once we exit out of them, we can simply uh, start adding the characters from word one. That is C D. It's done. And for word two, if you keep on adding, also nothing is going to happen because we've already reached the end of the word two. Okay, so that's how you will be solving this question. Okay, let's go to the code to understand how this is working. So now let's see how the code works. Uh, so what I'm doing is that first I'm getting the length of both the words. Okay, so int n1 is the length of word 1 n2 is the length of word 2 okay so once i've got the length of the word uh, i am initializing a variable that is i i is equal to 0 i is telling me the index that i have to reference for both the words okay and i am uh, defining my uh, return answer that is a string answer okay so this will be the final answer string that will be returning okay so now let's see the loop that we're using we'll be using a while loop because assume that you don't know till when you have to continue you can go with for but let's go with while Okay, so what I'll be doing is that I'm starting with zero index. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the condition will come late, come to uh, later on. Okay, for example, it's the answer error. It's, uh, it's it's an empty string. Okay, so to that we need to add the ith character of word one and ith character of word two. You can see, and obviously I'm updating my uh, index value, so it will be i plus plus. Now what will be the condition? Now you know you will be adding the words until you reach the end of the first word, that is uh, completed. So in this case, you can see if I write the condition that i is less than n1 and i is less than n2. So this condition will be true whenever uh, the ith character hasn't reached the end of any of the word. And once it reaches the end of any of the word, that is that is a smaller word, will exit out of the loop. Uh, then what we can do is that we can simply check if the first word has any characters left. That is i is less than n1. That is the index we are currently referencing to is less than the length of the first word that means there are some words left in word one okay so what we can do is that we can simply add the ith word ith characters of the word one into the answer string and we'll be doing it continuously until we reach the end of the word one and once it's done we can i've written the second condition the thing is that once word one uh, all the characters are added this loop won't be ex uh, uh, executed because uh, in the case where word one is longer word two is smaller this one this this condition will be executed but in the condition when uh, what two is smaller this won't be executed because i is value has already become much more than n2 okay so it won't be executed but assume the other other way other way is when word one is smaller and what two is longer so the condition in which word one is smaller this can this uh, while loop won't be executed because the i is less than n1 will be already triggered in this because of which we have executed and which means that there are no characters left in word one that we need to append into the answer string so we will be simply not running this uh, while loop we will be simply going to the second while loop in the second while loop what's happening is that whatever characters are left in the second part of the uh, word that is word two uh, will be added uh, you can say it's a simple thing answer is equal to answer plus what to i uh, the ith characters of what to will be added and we are yeah, incrementing i i plus plus and whenever you end uh, reach the end of what to you can exit so in both the condition you saw that uh, it's happening but there is a third condition that was uh, what if length of both n1 and n2 are same if n1 and n2 are same then there'll be a condition when i will be equal to n1 equal to n2 in this case only in this part only will we would have got our final answer string this both the while loops in this condition won't be executed okay so once we're done with that uh, you have the answer you can return it okay so this was a simple simple question i took this question so you guys can use while loop maybe you guys can try for loop and uh, write it in the comments share the code in the comment okay so till then time keep coding guys and i'm back with the video it was very nice making this video so hope you guys liked it okay Subscribe for more videos. See you soon.